This installation guide is for a Chevrolet Traverse. The part installed in this video is a Kurt Model number 56245 Custom 4-Flat Wiring Harness. 4-Flat connectors are needed to connect the tow vehicle's operating lights to the operating lights of most non-brake trailers. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Hey, what's up, you guys? If you're going to be using your Chevy Traverse to tow a trailer, you're definitely going to need to get trailer wiring harness installed on your vehicle. Um, one good thing about the Chevy Traverse is that when they designed the vehicle, they designed it for towing. And they did put an OEM harness for towing right up here behind the fender well. It's a little connector and the wiring that we're going to install has the mating connector. I'll go ahead and just click that in right now. And for the purpose of this video, we removed the paneling behind the passenger rear tire just so that you can get a good idea of where it's located and how it clicks in. And again, you don't have to remove that paneling if you don't want to. Okay, that's in there nice and solid. Okay, now we need to route our wiring over to the wiring bracket next to the receiver tube. Um, one quick tip, we need to keep the wiring away from moving parts and hot parts like the exhaust here. So I'm going to route it over the bumper beam and I'll end up right in this area here. There's a couple different ways you can route this wiring and I, I just find that I get more room over top of it. Okay, we are up and away from the exhaust. And now I'll just put a couple zip ties to a couple of portions of the hitch here. And it'll come out nice and neat right here for our wiring bracket. Um, they did give us two short uh, zip ties um, for this area. And it's not enough to get around the hitch, so I'm gonna put the two zip ties together. It makes it a little bit longer there. Now we'll continue to route the four flat wiring. Um, right above the spare tire, there's a cavity here with an opening. And it's gonna come right out, right next to the bumper beam here and next to our wiring bracket. Just kind of feed it through here. Just like that. Okay, so our four flat ends up right about here. It's always a good idea to spend a few extra bucks to get uh, a wiring bracket mounted in this area. We, we obviously have this wiring tab here that we can use, but um, wrapping the wiring harness around this tow loop or around the hitch, it just doesn't look good. So spend, the, spend a few extra bucks and just get the mounting bracket. Mount's pretty simple. Uh, first thing we wanna do is take our screw, drop it down. Yeah, I got two of them here. We'll just line up the holes. Okay, and then we'll take our screw, our nuts here for the screw and just roll them on here. I'll just take a 3 h drive here and snug them on. It also comes with a dust cover here that we can just loop right around the four flat. So it's just like that. Push it in. Get it locked in there. Close your cap. There's your four flat install. Okay, we're under the hood in the engine compartment on the passenger side. This is our fuse box. And to open the fuse box, we're simply just gonna press on these tabs here. Press in and lift. Okay, our wiring kit came with four 10 amp mini fuses, two 30 amp uh, mini fuses, and two relays. To identify the positions uh, that we're gonna be calling out for you, you can use the lid as a map here, or the numbers are gonna be stamped on right next to the fuse locations. 
Um, the red 10 amp mini fuses are going to go into position F8, which is the trailer backup, F17, which is the right turn and stop, F21 is is the left turn and trailer stop. F41 is trailer park lamp. Okay, now with the two green 30 amps, you're gonna be in the F30 position will be for trailer power. F34 position will be for your trailer brake. Okay, and last we're gonna do the two relays. R15 will be the relay left turn and stop, and R16 will be right turn and stop. And our trailer wiring harness is activated now. Uh, we can go ahead and put our lid back on and start towing our trailers. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.